Hi everyone. Um, today, assuming I keep my power, um, we're in the middle of a pretty bad wind and rainstorm. Um, but assuming I keep my power and that I can go longer than nine minutes and 16 seconds, which is what my videos kept doing the other night, I'm going to show you two ways that you can use one um, stencil. So this is our one of the new stencils I just got. And I'm going to put it on a shirt first because when you put it on clothing, you don't need to fuzz it. So I'm going to put it on, on um, a shirt first, but it's we are more than besties. She is my accomplice and I am her alibi. And this would be a really cute gift for um, best friends or whatever. So I have this t-shirt here. And what I have done, because um, the company hasn't come out with tacky boards yet, I've taken some vinyl um, placemats and I spray them with repositional spray. And that makes them tacky. And then I can load it into my t-shirt. And it, one, will hold the t-shirt in place. And two, if there is any bleed through from the ink, it will not go through to the to the next layer. So I'm just placing it in my t-shirt and you can see that it like sticks right to the t-shirt. See how nice and flat that area is? So that's not gonna move around as I work on the t-shirt. Now you gotta lay your t-shirt out correctly because if you don't, you're not gonna have your picture centered. And that's probably my worst thing in the world is getting things centered. So let's see. This is going to come down off that board a little bit. So one, I'm going to move the board down because I don't necessarily want the, the saying to start at the neckline. And we'll see if that does a little bit better job of fitting it all on. You know, th this is such a big one. That's not working. So what I'm going to do is I have a Cricut mat, which is bigger and squarer. And I don't typically use it for this, but it will work just fine because it's tacky as well. So let me put that aside and let's get this one out. I should have just gone with this one to begin with, I guess. But like I said, I don't typically use it for this. But for today's demo, we will. This is a little bit wider, so it's a little bit harder to feed into the shirt. Now I have tacky boards in all different sizes. I do a lot of onesies and little kid stuff. So I have smaller boards to use when I'm using the little t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff. Okay, let's see if that's a little bit better. Sorry about that, guys. But you know, we learn together, right? So... Yep, but still, I still want to move it down away from the neckline. You know, half your time is spent, really, to be honest with you, in placing and getting ready to do the work than it is actually doing the work. You watch, by the time I get this all done, you will see that I spent more time placing it and picking the color and all of that than the actual inking. But you want to get that right because ink is permanent. You cannot wash it off if you decide you don't like it. Even before it's heat set, I a couple of times have had something come out not quite the way I wanted and 
I thought it would be okay because I hadn't heat set it and it wasn't. So I'm going to peel this off my and I'm just going to place it there for the moment. And somewhere in my piles. I have a tape measure somewhere. Oh, I can have find anything when I want it. Yeah, I probably used it out in that room, the other room the other day, and didn't bring it back. So another way you can check to make sure you're on point is one, hold it up. And I think it's too far one way. And also you can line up the center of it with, wow, that's stuck on there good. The t-shirt tag typically is in the middle. So you can line it up there and I'll show you a trick to that in just a moment. Let me smooth this all back out again. Make sure my tag is in the middle. Okay, what I do for my to line it up with a tag, fold it sticky side out. Make sure you don't do it sticky side in. Sticky side out, and you've centered your, and just fold it together, and it leaves a, a little crease that won't hurt a thing, but it will help you. See, it's right there, and I lined it right up to the middle of that, so that should be good to go. I still would feel better if I had my tape measure. I thought I had two of them in here, but I don't know if I have one now. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I think it's pretty much lined up, but I'm going to measure just to be sure. Like I said, you can't undo this. And see, it's way, way over on one side. So not a problem. You're just going to pick it up again, flatten out your shirt, and lay it back down and I'm not going to adhere it down too much I'm just going to measure and see where we're at and then we're going to move it ever so slightly this will be so worth it guys I promise when you get, okay, it's four and a half. Okay, so we're just going to move it just a tad. And that'll be perfect. Now, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have it straight, that it's not crooked. And it is. So press it all down nice and hard. Now, I'm going to use wine. Now this just came yesterday so it has not been opened. So let me open it and give it a good stir. There's a lot on the cover of me. Get that all squared away. Now I need to wash my hands because I have ink all over them. And that's just going to transfer to your project if you don't make sure that it's cleared off. Okay, let me dry my hands here, make sure I have no ink on them. That's probably the biggest mistake I make is I forget to have check my fingers before I peel it up or whatever. Okay, so it's taken me, uh, 
uh, like eight minutes. I can't really see it that well to get it prepped. Now watch how quick it is to, to actually do the shirt. Now all this lighter area here is where you're filling in with your ink. Now with ink, you don't have to be as aggressive as you do with a paste. Just smooth it over the And to make it um, easier to not smudge it, you don't want to go over it too many times. And just work it over it. Do you have somebody in mind that you think this would make a, a really cute Christmas present for? Maybe best your best friend or maybe your daughter has a best friend and she would like to do that. I got a little bit on the table, so let me get that off before we continue. You know, any... Anybody like that would be fun, you know, make one for your daughter and her best friend. Or you could cover up the S and it could be he without a problem. So you could do either boy or girl or maybe one of each. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me cover up my ink check my fingertips look i have ink on there it's a good thing i checked right so wipe that off make sure your hands are clean okay now i'm just going to pull it off now remember this is a textile it will stretch so you want to work your way to the middle and pull Top to bottom or side to side, not corner to corner. I'm just going to lay that on my wash table here. Give it a spritz of water. And there we have it. Whoops. Now I leave this to dry overnight and then I will heat set it um, with my heat press. But you don't have to have a heat press. You can... Um, he set it with an iron um, for four minutes on each side or four minutes in each area on each side. Um, with my heat press, it's a lot quicker, um, but you do not need a heat press. You can just heat set it with an iron. So now I'm just going to stick my coat hanger back in here. Whoops. And then I have a drying rack over in the corner that I will put that on and it'll dry, I'll let it dry overnight. Now let me just wash up my stencil here because we're going to use it again for the next project. And all I'm doing, I don't know if you can see this or not, is I have this plastic top table and I spray it with a little bit of water and then I lay my stencils sticky side down on it and spray the top of it a couple spritzes of water while I'm finishing my project and then I come back and I wash it off To get all the, the ink or chalk paste, whatever you're using off. It might stain it a little bit, and that's perfectly fine as long as the staining is not in the screen print area. It does not hurt anything, and your stencils just look well loved. So after I do that, I will take a clean cloth. Flip it sticky side up. Let me get me some more um, 
Clark. Wait, see, so yeah, these are almost gone. It's all right, I have some in my stash. Now take your disinfectant wipe and wipe the back of it. And it will help restore your sticky. Now, normally I would just leave it laying right here to dry naturally. But because we're going to do a second project with it, I am going to take my towel and just pat it dry. It's all right if you put it on sticky because you'd be fuzzing it anyhow. So I just do it like that. Wave it about a couple of times to make sure it gets nice and dry. You could also take um, your blow dryer on cool and just blow it. Okay, so now that we've made a shirt with this, let me show you the next thing that we're going to do with it. I wanted to show you guys the versatility of our stencils. Now, this is one of our 9x12 finished boards that you can get right off our website. And I will post in comments that address, that link, I mean. Okay, I think that might be more right on. So make sure to adhere it well to your board. Now, a lot of people use the squeegees like this to make sure it's on there. And that's, that's great. I prefer to use my fingers because then I can feel a bubble or maybe a little extra piece of lint that it picked up. Um, because if there's any of that near the screen, it will bleed. Okay, and there we have it like that. So now I'm going to fill in this white area with chalk paste. Uh, what color do we want to do? Hmm. I really like this foliage green. I just think this is the most pretty color. Now... When you open your paste, you want to make sure it's about the consistency of a nice cake batter. So I'm just stirring it with one of these little makeup um, spatulas that I picked up on Amazon. If it's not the consistency you want, Add a spritz of water, just one spritz at a time, though, because you don't want to overdo it. I like mine just a little bit soupier than that. You'll find your preference as you go on working with our products. Everybody has a different preference, but um, cake batter, sour cream is a pretty good analogy to what you want. See, I like mine to just kind of drip off pretty easy. So then I'm going to throw my spatula in my water. Now, I think I'm just going to do this all one color. But you could do it different. So I'm just kind of slapping it all on. Make sure you don't go up over the edge of your stencil. But you can slap it all on there. Don't worry about getting too much. I mean, you don't want it two inches thick, but you can just... And then you're going to go back. And you're going to see how you can't see the wording now. Now you're going to go back and you're going to scrape off all that extra paste. And 
You guys hear the howling out there, the wind? Fall foliage is pretty much going to be gone after today. It's been absolutely gorgeous this year, but I think it, the leaves will all be on the ground by the end of the day with that wind blowing. We lost our power once today, so I'm hoping we don't lose it again. So I'm just scraping off the extra so you don't have any waste. Once again, check your fingers. I am a very messy painter or crafts person in general. I always get, it's either glue, it's glitter, it's paint, it's um, whatever project I'm doing. I get it all over me. Okay, so we're just going to spritz our table here again. Take our stencil. Now, peel it off slowly and look. Because if you see an area that didn't get covered, you can lay it back down and go again. I think that's pretty good. So I'm just spritz the top of it. Now, I do see where I must have had a little bit on my fingers I didn't see up here in the corner. But don't worry, that'll just wipe right off. It's not like a material that, you know, like a shirt or something that won't. And there we have it. So there's one way to use it. And here's the second way to use the same, the same stencil. So twice as much bang for your buck, right? Now, this will be dry in three to five minutes, and it will be permanent um, until I want to wash it off. But what I will do with it is it will be in my boutique, so I will spray it to make it permanent, permanent. Um, I spray it with a, a clear polyurethane. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on two ways to use our stencils. Talk to you soon. Bye.